can be tricky to identify dragonflies and damselflies when you're first starting out, but fear not. We've teamed up with the British Dragonfly Society to give you some handy tips on how to identify some of the most common dragonfly and damselfly species that you're likely to spot in your garden in the summer. We will be covering males and females, but in general, males will be more visible around water where they're protecting their territory, whilst females will return to water to lay their eggs. The most obvious difference between dragonflies and damselflies is that dragonflies are large, strong flyers, whereas damselflies are smaller and more delicate. When they're taking a break, dragonflies rest with their wings spread out to the side, whilst damselflies rest with their wings folded back. Look out for their eyes too. Dragonfly eyes meet at the centre of their heads, whilst damselfly eyes are separated on either side of their head. Let's start with a red-eyed damselfly. This is a robust looking dark damselfly that reaches up to 35 millimeters long. This damselfly prefers larger ponds and they're often spotted taking a breather on floating leaves such as lily pads. The abdomen of the male red-eyed damselfly is topped and tailed in blue, whereas the female's abdomen is dark on top and green underneath. They also sport a short yellow antihumeral stripe on the back of the thorax. Both the male and the female have pale wing spots and are mostly black in coloration. But the most striking feature is their eyes. In the male, they're a fetching red color and in the female, they're a more subdued browny red. There is another damselfly that shares these striking red eyes, the small red-eyed damselfly. However, the small red-eyed damselfly is less widespread and you're far less likely to see these in your garden. If you spot a blue damselfly, there are a couple of species that look very similar. We're going to look at the most common species here as this is what you're most likely to find flying around your garden pond. Blue damselflies that are on the wing in summer are likely to be an azure, a common blue or a blue tailed. So how do we tell the difference? The two blues that look really similar at first glance are azures and common blues. Azures are common, widespread and more likely to be loitering around your pond, as common blues prefer larger bodies of water. If you get a closer look, you can look out for the following. The azure damselfly is up to 33 millimetres long. It has a black spur on the side of its thorax and thin blue shoulder stripes. The male is blue with black stripes and has a black U-shaped marking behind its wing bases. It also has a black bow tie shaped marking at the end of its abdomen. The females are generally green with extensive black colouring on the abdomen, although there is a blue form to look out for too. The common blue damselfly is up to 32 millimetres long. It has wide shoulder stripes and unlike the azure, it has no spur on the side of its thorax. The male has a tree or mushroom shaped black mark behind its wing bases and two completely blue segments at the end of its abdomen, a bit like tail lights. The female comes in two colour forms, blue or a drab green that turns brown with age. They also have black rocket shaped markings along the top of the abdomen. If you spot a damselfly with just a flash of blue, it could be the blue-tailed damselfly. Here's what to look out for. The blue-tailed damselfly is up to 31 millimetres long. The male blue-tailed damselfly is easy to spot as it has a black abdomen with a flashy blue spot at the end, hence the name blue-tailed. The females come in five different colour forms, which can make it tricky to identify them, but a good feature to look out for on both males and females is their black and white wing spot. If you live near a river or a stream, you might be lucky enough to have this stunning, larger damselfly visit your garden. The banded demoiselle is up to 42 millimetres long. Both the male and the female banded demoiselle have a striking metallic appearance and fluttering butterfly-like wings. The male is a metallic green or blue with a large dark band across each wing, whilst the female has a metallic green body with translucent pale green wings. Much like the banded demoiselle, 
you're only likely to spot the beautiful Demoiselle if you are lucky enough to have a stream or river nearby. The beautiful Demoiselle is mostly found west of a line between Liverpool and Folkestone and in Southern Ireland. Sadly, they are not found in the east as they seem to prefer faster flowing streams. This beautiful damselfly can reach up to 45 millimetres long and it lives up to its name with its large and striking metallic body and fluttering butterfly-like wings. The male is a beautiful metallic blue colour with dark wings, whereas the female has a striking metallic green bronze body with translucent pale brown wings. Now we're going to look at the most common dragonfly species that you might see hanging around your garden in the summer. The brown hawker, the southern hawker, the four-spotted chaser, the common darter, the black-tailed skimmer, and the emperor dragonfly. Hawkers get their name from their feeding behaviour. They like to hunt for insects on the wing and can often be seen high up and along woodland edges and hedgerows. The brown hawker lives up to its name with its brown body and brown tinted wings, looking a little bit like it's been dipped in chocolate. It's the only larger dragonfly with coloured wings, making it distinctive and easy to recognise, particularly as it's most often seen in flight. The brown hawker reaches up to 73 millimetres long and is widespread and common around much of England and Wales, although it is absent in southwest England. The male and female both have brown wings, but you can tell them apart. The male has small blue dots on the side of the abdomen, whereas the female doesn't. The male also has a cute little waist and the female, in comparison, is a little bit chunkier. The southern hawker is very common in southern and central England and Wales. It's a large dragonfly reaching up to 70 millimetres long. They're colourful and inquisitive and, if you're lucky, you might have one flying around you just to see what you're up to. The females are brown with bright green markings and the males are dark coloured with bright green and blue markings. There's also a rare form of the male which only has blue markings. Both the male and the female have broad, bright shoulder stripes on the top of the thorax, as well as two bands of colour across the bottom of the abdomen. Look out for their dark wing veins and wing spots, and an elongated triangular mark on segment two near the top of the abdomen. Chasers and darters are significantly smaller than hawkers. These dragonflies like to perch and then suddenly chase after or dart after their prey, hence the name. Their movement can often appear a lot more erratic than the movement of the hawkers. The four-spotted chaser is up to 48 millimetres long. They have a brown chunky abdomen with yellow marks on the sides as well as small dark triangles on their wing bases. Each wing is decorated with two obvious dark spots and they're often described as looking like flying cigars. The males and females very handily look the same. The common darter is the most common species of darter, so if you see a smallish red dragonfly, it's likely to be this one. Like its name suggests, the common darter is common and widespread, and it likes to make the most of the summer, often being seen well into November. It's a fairly small dragonfly, only reaching up to 43 millimetres long. The males are a bright orange red with yellow panels on the side of the thorax. The females are ochre and become duller in colour or more red with age. Both the male and the female have pale stripes on their legs and their wing spots vary in colour. The ruddy data is similar in appearance at first glance, however, you are unlikely to spot those in your garden. The black-tailed skimmer is a medium-sized dragonfly reaching up to 49 millimetres. The feature that really gives this dragonfly away is its behaviour. As their name suggests, they like to fly low, skimming over the water's surface. They're also often seen on the ground and like to colonise new ponds. Its wings have a yellow costa and dark wing spots. The males have green eyes and a blue abdomen darkening towards the rear and finishing with a black tip as if they've been dipped in ink. The females have olive brown eyes and yellow abdomens with a dark ladder pattern which becomes darker with age. Immature adults look similar to the females. 
Let's finish with the absolute marvel that is the Emperor Dragonfly. As Britain's bulkiest dragonfly, the striking blue and green emperor is hard to miss. It's up to 78 millimetres long. It has an apple green thorax and green or blue eyes. There's a central dark line down their abdomen and a yellow leading edge to the wing. The males have a blue abdomen, whereas the females have a green abdomen, although that's also occasionally blue. In flight, the abdomen looks a little drooped. So that pretty much covers all the common dragonfly and damselfly species that you're likely to see on the wing in the summer. But there's one more thing you can keep an eye out for. Exuviae. If you have a pond, then have a look for exuviae on vegetation around the pond. An exuvia is the external skeleton of the larva which is left behind after the larva has crawled out of the water and the adult has emerged. Damselfly exuviae are smaller and slimmer than typical dragonfly exuviae. If you'd like to learn more about dragonflies, there is absolutely loads of information on the British Dragonfly Society's website where you can learn about more species and look at lots of beautiful pictures to help with identifying what you've seen. And don't forget to send records of any dragonflies you see to british-dragonflies.org.uk and of course check out the Wildlife Garden Project website where you can learn lots of tips to make your garden more wildlife friendly.